Hello dear students, this is Asistre and welcome to the channel. So today I will discuss empirical and molecular formula. Okay. So empirical formula is defined as the collection of symbols which represents the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms of the different elements present in one molecule. Okay. That means uh, empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio this is the simplest whole number ratio of the original compound okay we can take the example suppose uh, actual formula of glucose is c6 h12o6 everyone uh, knows that uh, formula of glucose is c6 h12o6 right if uh, if i divide uh, 6 with each elements then 6 by 6 equal to 1 and 12 by 6 equal to 2 and 6 by 6 equal to 1 okay so first is the carbon and second is the hydrogen and third is the oxygen okay that means uh, this is the simplest whole number ratio so its empirical formula is C1 H2 O1 okay molecular formula so it is the collection of the symbols which represents the actual number of atoms this is very important this is the actual number of atoms okay in case of empirical this is the simplest whole number ratio but here actual number of atoms present we can take the same example molecular formula of glucose is c6 h12o6 that means originally it contains six carbons 12 hydrogen and six oxygen okay there is nothing to change that means the original formula of the compound is known as molecular formula okay so molecular formula equal to empirical formula into n where n is a whole number and that n can be determined by dividing molecular mass with the empirical formula mass okay all of you know how to calculate molecular mass of a compound okay so if anyone asks sir how we can calculate empirical formula mass then it's very simple if you want to calculate of this compound c1 h2o1 okay so in just like molecular formula you just add the atomic mass of different elements so here carbon is 12 and two hydrogen atoms are present so it's two and one oxygen is present it's 16 okay by adding these numbers you will get the empirical formula mass of glucose okay now i'll discuss how empirical formula can be calculated okay so here one problem is given a compound gave following percentage composition on analysis that means it contain potassium equal to 26.57 percent and chromium equal to 35.36 percent and oxygen equal to 38.07 percent okay. and here is the question determine the molecular and empirical formula if the given molecular mass is 294 okay so uh, there is some rule so i will explain this i will explain this problem in a table so that it will be easy for everyone to understand okay okay students here is the table and you just draw a table like this so first uh, table is the elements okay uh, elements are given that is potassium chromium and oxygen and you have to write the atomic mass okay and from the given data i just write percentage that is uh, potassium percentage is 26.57 chromium is 35.36 and oxygen is 38.07 these values are given in the in question okay now we have to calculate a relative number of atoms okay so how you can calculate uh, there is a formula that is percentage by atomic mass okay so uh, 
the first one is twenty six point five seven by its atomic mass is thirty nine. Okay, so uh, uh, you have to simplify this value. Okay, when you will simplify this value. So you will get uh, approximately zero point zero point six eight. Okay, and uh, second one is thirty five point three six divided by fifty two. Okay, that same value zero point six eight, and and third one is. Thirty-eight point zero seven divided by sixteen, okay, equal to two point three seven. So, okay, next we have to calculate the simplest ratio. Okay, so try to understand how simplest ratio can be calculated. What happened from the table? Relative number of atoms. You have to identify which one is the least value. Okay, less the lesser value. So among these values, zero point six eight is the lowest value. So we have to divide zero point six eight in each one. Okay, with itself also. So zero point six eight by zero point six eight equal to one. Okay, here also same zero point six eight by zero point. Six eight equal to one, and the last one is two point three seven by zero point six eight and three point five. Okay, so this is the simplest uh, ratio of elements. Uh, here all are not whole numbers, so our duty is to convert them into whole number. So three point five can be converted uh, to whole number by multiplying two. Okay, so here two three point five. If you multiply, it becomes seven. If two is multiplied here, so you have to multiply with other values. So it becomes two and it becomes two. Okay, now uh, I can write the empirical formula. So empirical formula equal to we have to write this. We have to write these two to seven values in respective elements in lower sides. So K two, C R two, O seven. K two, C R two, O seven is the empirical formula of that compound. Okay. Now uh, we have to calculate the molecular formula. For this, we have to calculate. Empirical formula mass. Okay, so from here we can calculate empirical formula mass. Two potassium are there. Two into thirty-nine plus two chromium are there. So two into fifty-two. Okay, plus seven oxygen are there. Seven into sixteen. Okay, equal to if you simplify these values, you will get. Two ninety four. Okay. So now we have to calculate the n value. Okay. So already I told you uh, n equal to what? Molecular mass by empirical formula mass. Okay. So n equal to Two ninety four molecular mass is given two ninety four divided by empirical formula mass also same two ninety four equal to one. Okay, now we can write the molecular formula. So molecular formula equal to empirical formula whole into n. Okay, so empirical formula is K two C R two. O seven whole into one. That means uh, value is same. That is K two C R two O seven. Okay. That means here empirical formula equal to molecular formula. Okay. Suppose uh, in any problem you will find 
the value of n is uh, 2, 3, 4, then you just multiply with each element so that you will get molecular formula. Okay. So now I will give uh, two examples. Write the answer in the comment box. Carbon equal to uh, 40%. Hydrogen equal to 6.66% and oxygen equal to 53.34%. So calculate empirical formula. Okay, this is the question and write the answer in comment box. Okay, thank you so much.